Welcome to Best Car Fixes. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. Today we have 2017 BMW 3 Series, right? The signal worked like three times and then it stopped. Can you do it for us? Okay, you see here? Put the turn signal left. You see when you put the left, it start working. It's just leave it one time. Okay, but the one on the top is working, the front doesn't work. On the make the right side. You see? One, two, three, it stop. They don't work. And the back work is very fast. The last time the headlight, the left side headlight was replaced and we did the coding. I don't know what's going on, but if you look here, also, you see from the dashboard work, and then I have to stop it, but the back work fast. Let's see also if you start the car or you turn the key off, you turn the key on, you see, you're gonna get some message here. Let me see something. Supposed to have some message. Let me start the car. It will, it will give you a message like, there's, you see like, fast and belt. That's the first one. I supposed to get a message saying that like uh, turn signal malfunction. But anyhow, if it's come back, I will show you. I am using BMW Icom. Uh, let's go ahead and see what is the uh, option and what we have to do. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna do the screen recording. The same video could be there. Maybe this is very clean. I gotta go to Insta A and we take the information and of the car. I gotta double click here to get screen bigger enough. Okay. If I wanna uh, zoom it here, maybe it could be a little bit better. If not, I will go back. I wanna go read vehicle data. Navigation is not active. And then I will go to the corner. And uh, I will wait a little bit. That the icon. I'm gonna click on it to adopt it. The signal light running faster and stop. I believe there is a function for it. Okay. You move. It. Okay. Okay, now this is the car. Okay. I gotta go to vehicle information first. And then start vehicle test. To see what's going on. We have a lot of quotes here. But I am going to, we're gonna wait till the, the diagnosis finish. You see here the message? I just have it and you see, the message just gone. I'm gonna wait for it till it come back. It disappear again. So the battery is weak a little bit, but it's okay. We have 2024 20, memory fault. But the signal worked like five seconds and it stopped. Very weird. 2017, five series. Look how beautiful it is. Okay, now everything is red. I'm gonna display the fault, 24 fault. Power management, battery condition, tire pressure, tire front, outer left, ultrasonic, ultrasonic, tear indicator voltage outside of tolerance. You see here, tear indicator outside of tolerance. Side marker light open circuit. Side 
10 indicate a voltage outside of tolerance. Two place. See, outside of tolerance, that's very weird. So that's, I believe, the, the message about it. I gotta go back, cast, interface. We have a lot of messages. So before I clear it, let me go to test plan. On the test plan, Okay, start up. Uh, LED light, LED lights, headlights. Okay, electrical check. Will no electronic check telecommunication RDC. I don't know why all these codes. Headlight, headlight. Okay, let me go to the hell headlight, LED headlight. Maybe this is one of the system. FLER front fault. Turn indicator voltage out of tolerance, side marker light open, turn indicator of tolerance, side marker. So we have four quotes. We swap the FLE control unit. Okay. Both side. Supply voltage between 10 and 16 voltage. PWF is started driving. Testing analyze the designation of terminal. Apply according to the vehicle electric. Okay. The following is enter FLLD. The fault is currently present. The turn signal active via the CAN bus. If communication faults are entered in the light control or work through test first, this test module may be stopped and communicate fault. The BDC will be processed. Yes. Continue. Okay. Let me see your ferris. Let me go back. Gonna close this. Go back here. Delete everything. And then see what's gonna happen. I clear all the code, I have only one here. Rear electronic module. We have three code. Display the full mode. Front, outer, left, ultrasonic, ultrasonic, ultrasonic. Let's start the car. Front turn signal malfunction. Okay. Still there. Special function, service function. Body. Headlight. If it has it. Wow. 
well. You say you have to do the SDRS. You say it's activated already. Save Pierce Net Update Online Service. Let me see lightning. Right height, teach in front, light electronic turn signal. Wow. You have to teach this one, very stretch. There is a teach in. You have to teach in that one. Click here. Display. In, uh, in frontal, if new frontal light electronic have been installed, they must be coded, encoded first in order to carry out the teach-in procedure. If the LED control unit have been swapped, the third signal must be taught in wow because you swap it. The customer is swap, is swap it. Yes. You see here? So we're gonna swap it, we're gonna teach it. They say you have to teach it. Continue. Teach in front indicator. The teach in possible process for the third signal was successful. Okay. Continue. Service finish. Continue. Okay, now what we're gonna do, I gotta go to uh, Google Information. Okay, start vehicle test. So this problem here, I believe we must teach in the signals. If you don't teach in, it will not work. So we're gonna wait till it work and then we do that. Anytime you change the headlight you have to be quickness. Teach in the third signal. Even if you swap the module, you have to teach in. Display the fault mode, the faults. No communication with the old vision. Turn signal voltage, turn signal indicator voltage. This is just two codes. Okay, now I'm gonna clear, delete the codes. Now let me see what's going on. Yes, I have four faults. Ignition is off. Ignition is on automatically. Okay, I have uh, the rear, the rear electronic module. We have some ultrasonic cells that are not working. If you want to know that, I can do it later on. But now let's go start the car. Put the signal on. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Still there. We 
the ditch in, but he still doesn't want to take it. Front light electronic tail signal. We did it, it still doesn't work. I did it. Okay. Finish. It could be something wrong with the unit itself. And we caught it too. Okay, uh, we did everything that we can. Okay, if it's still not good. Frontal light. Okay. Uh, we did everything what we can do. It still doesn't want to work. There will be something wrong somewhere. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, and like. And if you have any idea, please let us uh, give it to us. The car was coded, everything was working. Right now it doesn't want to work. I will go back again and try to code it and see what happened. Thank you for watching.